Throughout this video, we are going to be breaking down and recapping what happened in this movie. The film starts in Las Arenas where a couple, Josh and Sofia, show up in Bogota, Colombia. They are the two specialists and are hanging around for a gathering. There, they meet Marcos, who is Josh's companion. They talk for some time and he shows them their room. Nonetheless, they are not content with the room and we come to realize that their marriage is going to fall to pieces. They are miserable in light of the fact that there is just a single bed and they have been sleeping alone for some time now. In the evening, Marcos and Josh choose to hike the next morning. However, Marcos can't accompany them because of some reasons. All things considered, Sofia needs to go climbing and Josh goes with her. The inn chief cautions them to be protected and not to go towards Las Arenas as this area is dangerous. He makes a motion to a man staying there, proposing that they might experience looters focusing on travelers. As they go climbing, thunder starts and they choose to return back. However, they see the man from the lodging attempting to break the glass of their vehicle to take something. Josh begins battling with him, and they departure to the Timberland to safeguard themselves, yet Sophia falls into a mud pool that ends up being sand trap. Josh attempts to haul her out, however, wings up in the sand trap as well. Josh's thought is to resist the urge to panic as he accepts that nobody has passed on in a sand trap previously. Notwithstanding, they see a dead body under them and a pack containing a blade, a light, and a rifle. Presently, Josh will likely make a rope and toss it to the stone, which can deal with the heaviness of Sophia to assist her with getting out. In any case, their arrangement doesn't function as the rope isn't sufficiently long to arrive at the stone. Then, they see a helicopter, however spotting them can't. Their concerns get greater as subterranean insects begin slithering on Sophia's neck, and she likewise stresses that they will kick the bucket because of drying out as the jugs in her rucksack got taken. In any case, Josh was conveying a container of liquor and he utilizes it to wash her neck. However, she is irate with him as he didn't inform her regarding one or the other, they might have inebriated the liquor to remain hydrated. Then they see a snake coming towards them. Josh advises Sophia to shoot the snake. However, the snake figures out how to nibble Josh and the toxic substance begins spreading in his body. Sophia says that they actually have six hours before the toxin could harm his organs. In the meantime, Marcos figures out how to find out where his companions are by exchanging a watch with the looter. He lets the police know that he is a specialist and his companions are in harm's way, and he really wants to save them. In the woodland, Josh's toxin keeps on spreading, so Sophia concocts the plan to cut the injuries since it is making it hard to control the stock of toxin to his cerebrum. Josh then admits his sentiments to her and swoons. Sophia then, at that point, thinks of the plan to utilize the snake to make the rope longer, so she attempts to shoot the snake, yet it folds over her. Josh recaptures cognizance and figures out how to kill the snake with a blade. He then makes the rope longer and Sophia escapes the sand trap. She asks Josh to hold her hand, however he can't move, so he advises her to proceed to save herself. She goes, however, blacks out coming. Luckily, Marco shows up with an emergency vehicle and they figure out how to save Josh and the film closes. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe for more weekly content.